Guys, what's up? Welcome to the All Good Things Podcast. This is, wow, this is crazy. I have a guest today that I've been dying to have on the show. Wow. I've been dying to have her on for a long time. And I, I, I'm getting to it. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I was nervous about having this person on because, you know, you put stuff on the internet and then people are mean and and um you know i was just nervous about it but this person is absolutely the best person i know in the world she has changed my life in so many ways and my guest today is my fiance naveen jay oh my goodness the crowd goes wild <laughs> you there's have like nobody a clap, going wild. A clap track. <laughs> you hear that wow thank you thank you I'm so glad to have you here today. Super fun. I'm so glad to be here today. And it's, uh, I guess we're going to talk about us and whatever and talk about you. Yeah. We've got some games we're going to play. I love games. We're going to, um, I want to, I want to address how you are trying to find out my poop schedule. Oh, I want to okay. get, I want to yeah, get to yeah. that. Um, I want to find out about, um, I don't my know. My poop schedule. I'd like to find out about your poop schedule. <laughs> um, no, but it, it's been it's been like uh, totally amazing. You guys might have seen it on Instagram or seen it in a YouTube video or, uh, that we got engaged, and um, and it, it was it's it's first of all, it's just been really. Uh, it was like the best day um, in the entire world. Yeah, yeah. I have some videos I pulled. You did? Yeah. That's cute. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, that would be one day I could like relive forever. Yeah. And like be so happy. And where are you from originally? Have you met me before? <laughs> bunch of tough people <laughs> let's finally get to know each other huh <laughs> i'm dying um, to know i was born i've never asked have i lebanon. where are you from <laughs> you're born in lebanon yeah, yeah i'm yeah. an immigrant yeah and then when did you move here um i was the mature age of seven months do you remember it yeah it was like it was yesterday <laughs> i remember getting on that plane and i was like this better be first class <laughs> And it was nice. It was nice. Just to a come baby to sitting in first class. <laughs> my own <laughs> <In> chair. <laughs> I can't reach the screen to choose my movie. Um, yeah. So I am Lebanese. Yeah. And I moved to Houston, Texas. Yeah. Which is the third largest Lebanese uh, population of Lebanese people in the U.S. Is Did that you true? Know that? Yeah. I didn't know that. When you go to Houston, it's like all Lebanese people. Does it have like a, a Lebanese lane, like a Lebanese uh, section? No, no, no. We just took over the entire city. <laughs> Got it. Okay, what's your favorite thing about being Lebanese? Um, I think Lebanese people are just the best um, salespeople. Yeah? Yeah, everyone <laughs> is like very salesy. Like Lebanese people can sell someone anything. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Who, who, in, who in your family is a good salesperson? I think every. I think my mom and my dad are both good salespeople in like different ways. You sell me on things all the time. Do I? Yeah, like I that. I get excited. That about. always pan you've been talking about. <laughs> Listen. We should go today. I okay. want you to see it. Okay, I'll go after this. It's the Tell people pan. what it is. <laughs> it's a pan, <laughs> but it's more of a lifestyle. <laughs> right. <laughs> because people that don't like to cook always say like they don't like it because it's like the cleanup, right? Like cleaning up is just so annoying. <laughs> the worst. Not with the always pan. <laughs> They're not even sponsoring this. No. Um, no, but give them a plug. It just, you, you make an egg. Yeah. And then when you're done, you just drop the egg into the plate. Yeah. You plate it just by going like that, and then the pan is clean. Nothing to do. Do you put water on the pan? Nothing. I don't believe it. It's magical. I can't wait for you to experience I'm it. I'm going to buy one. You should buy two. Really? No, you only need one, really. And you moved to, um, what was it like growing up in uh, Houston? What was your childhood like? It was hard. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it was so fun. I had the best childhood ever. Um, <laughs> great Great big family. Yeah. Houston is just so fun because there's like so many different kinds of people. And it, I don't have one bad thing to say about my childhood. I had too much fun. You're right. Yeah. How was your childhood? Horrible. Really? No, it was fine. <laughs> no, I, I came from I came from two loving parents. Which, by the way, speaking of your parents. Yeah. Uh, I checked my Instagram today. And yeah. And your dad, my dad did not. Guess who's following me. First, I was like, "This is like a fake, weird account of someone pretending to be yeah, your dad." Because it's like Bob. But then Nash, I saw four, that four. you followed it, and yeah. I was like, "Could it be Bob?" <laughs> but he doesn't post. He found me. Yeah, I know he's on Instagram because he sends me like um, 
he sends me people to have on my podcast, but they're always. What if you find out that that it's not even his? <laughs> oh, how do you know it's his? No, I you know? know it's his because he sends me like golf videos. Okay, so then you you had a good child. What, what what were you good at? You were good at sports and stuff. I wasn't good at sports necessarily, but I played them. And I think the great thing about me, yeah, is that even though I wasn't good, I thought I was good. Yeah. And so I never gave up. And like, I, even if I lost, I'd show up like I won. Yeah. 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 That is you. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're, you never give up. Yeah. And you always see the, you always see the bright side of everything. That's what I love about you. That's really nice. Yeah. Like I when love I, everything about you. What did I say the other day? Oh, I said, I hate, I was, I was driving the other day. I, I hate January. And you were like, oh yeah, you, you were talking shit about January for no reason. <laughs> I don't like January. You woke up hating January. Don't you feel that way though? I've never hated January. Oh, I've never liked January. The holidays the are over. But you, you have a different way of looking looking at it, and that's why I love you so much. Thank you. Were you surprised I proposed? I was, so I knew that we would get married. You did? I knew that we would get married eventually. <laughs> I thought that you were going to take maybe like a year. Right. So I was really impressed, and it made me love you even more, because I was like, oh, okay, like you have the same crazy as me because everyone's crazy right but right. you want to find people with like the same amount of crazy yes and it was like oh this person's <laughs> as crazy as me and it was nice yeah it's really nice it's just like i just knew i just knew I, that's what people say is you just know yeah yeah that, it, it's, and it's so funny i've heard people say it for years like i've heard that phrase like oh yeah like she's the one for me and i'd always think like what yeah like, how did you how can you be so sure but i just never met the right person I really That's hadn't, really nice. and and I remember I I was, yeah I really th I really thought about it and I was just like, there was just no no doubt in my mind like when and uh, you know when I met you a couple years ago, mm -hmm. um, even when I met you, I was just like oh my god like she's the best and then I didn't see you for two years. Did you think anything about like when you met me? Was there anything about me that you thought that turned out like not to be true about me? Like did you have any like? preconceived notion that yeah because because i didn't talk to you for two years i figured that maybe more interested in like your career or whatever but that's really not the case You're like that's just obviously not the case <laughs> <laughs> well i don't know i i no i didn't really have any preconceived notions about you i i, I just thought you were great that's and i used true. to tell like i used to tell david all the time i used to tell all my friends all the time i'm like naveen 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 and they would be like buddy like enough drop it yeah She's just, you know, she's not but coming you knew. back. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like even though you maybe didn't know, like, did you feel like I was going to come back or just I was gone? No, I really thought you were gone. Really? How exciting for you then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really thought you were gone, but that's my nature too. I don't, I don't. Really? Yeah, I always think that, oh, it's over. Like, let it go. I think that's from like my childhood too. Like, we, there would just be like, there would be things that were like said we were gonna ha we were gonna do. Yeah. Like, we're going to Florida yeah. for vacation, and then vacation would come. Like, yo, I thought we were going to Florida, you know. So I I'm set like up that for disappointment. To me too, though. Right. But I'm still like, oh, one day we're gonna go to Florida. Like, I don't. I feel yeah. like I look at it a bit different. Yeah, you like, do, and that's what I love about you. It's like it's, you're like teaching me. You've changed me so much. Like, just giving me hope because I was so down and out. <laughs> I thought it was really funny when we were fighting once, and I go. I remember saying to myself, I was like, we were fighting. Uh -huh. And then I was like, we were mad enough. We were going to maybe break up or whatever. And I remember being like, I'd be like, oh, I was like, she doesn't know. Like, I'll go back to being miserable. Oh, I was yeah, fine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, you were just fine with it before. Yeah. I'm like, I can do it. Yeah. I was miserable for years. So if she wants I'll to. get right back to it. Yeah. That's, that's sad. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> um, yeah. I just, I just, um, I didn't think you'd come back. I don't know why. I, I, I probably should have. But I never I never let out hope. I would always like look at your Instagram and you never posted that much. You didn't really post. And yeah. then and then I remember there'd be like there'd be you know, I'd check like almost every night. <laughs> Not every night, but I'd check a couple times yeah. a week. And then when you would post, it would be like like a new episode of Rick and Morty, I'd be so excited. I'd be like, Oh I my wish god. I would have known that. I would have made my captions like, Hi Jason. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been fun. That's so cute. Yeah. Um, I don't think I ever looked at your Instagram when we weren't talking, but I thought of you. You did? Yeah. What did you think? 
I thought of you because we didn't have like a bad ending or like no. we didn't have like any sort of like disagreement. It was like we had a really nice time and then I left. No. I I messed up. Yeah. I messed up in in no, I'm just kidding. In, Why? In texts. Your t- your texting is not so good. It's There's not. like you text like a foreign man. <laughs> <laughs> right. You put spaces for no reason. <laughs> I do. Uh, and you put a space in between the end of the sentence and an explanation mark for no, like there's no That's reason. bothersome. And then you'll be like, what's up? Or right. You don't text like you talk in person. No. Like in person, you're so like inquisitive and like you have so much to say. And in text, you're just like, how you been? What's new? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Morning. I, I guess I never really. In those texts, I just didn't. I just wasn't like willing to put myself out there. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was just like, oh, there's probably no way. But it's like it's now you interested. send me these voice notes and they're so funny. And if you would have sent them to me a long time ago, we would have been married already. <laughs> Play one. Really? Yeah. They're really good. Let me hear them. Let's see. I am on my way. That one's a boring one. <laughs> <laughs> put the mic up so we can hear it. What would you say? <laughs> Magic words. <laughs> No wonder. It's just like really, really romantic. Um, you look so pretty in that dress. I'm not sure I said so it enough. Nice. Thank you so much. That was so fun. And I will see you soon. I love you. Too. Wait. I like that I looked pretty in a dress and you said thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> okay, so we, we should clarify. Yeah. You were gone. I was gone. You left. Yeah. I went on you a space mission. Broke my heart. No, I'm just kidding. It oh, yeah, heart. you went to space, right? I went to space, yeah. no. I went to Puerto Rico. And how was that? It was really fun. Yeah. Because here in L.A. during COVID was, like, so boring. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me about it. Everyone was, like, complaining. <laughs> no one was really happy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Looking back, <laughs> I wish I would have stayed because I feel like you and I quarantined would have been so fun. Right. So fun. I just thought you I missed out. I just thought you didn't want anything to do with me. No, a lot of people were moving to Puerto Rico. It was like the thing. They were? Yeah. I just Logan Paul. That was the only person I heard. No, literally anyone that had anything to do with like crypto. Oh, they were Rico. moving there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um and so I was like, I want to be there. I like the beach. Yeah. And the beach here like you can't swim in it and stuff. Yeah, you can. But it's cold. It's cold. It it's is not cold. comfortable. Was it warm there? It's like the water's so warm. I swam like every day. What was your favorite thing about Puerto Rico? I think living on the beach was the only thing that I liked. Mm-hmm. You were on the beach. I was like so right. Wake up like and I would just it. walk out on the beach. Uh-huh. Oh, I miss it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, and the people there are so nice. Remember yesterday when I was like, we're gonna have a co ed bachelor party and you were like, I think I'm still gonna have my own. I was just messing with you, though. I just wanted to see what you would say. <laughs> would you care? If you had your own bachelor party? If I had party? my own, would you have your own? Uh, no, because I, I want to have a co-ed one. I think that's way more fun. A co-ed one sounds really, really fun. Yeah. It, like mixing your friends with my friends. Yeah. What are, your, what are your thoughts on each of my friends? Here we go. David, go. Um. I, I really like him. I think he's really funny. He's, he's really underrated funny. funny. He, he, you think he's underrated funny? He has yeah. 20 million followers. Really? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I love about you is like you don't go on the internet. No. I don't know anything you don't, about You don't know anything about um, anybody. It's so funny. I don't know if he's underrated, man. No, he's he's under- the biggest social media star no, no, no. of the last decade. <laughs> One he's of. underrated in the way that I feel like if we're all sitting at a table, everyone is like making jokes, but he'll say something kind of like under his breath. Yes. Like, and it's so funny, but he's, he's not trying to be funny. No, no, he doesn't. That's what I mean. Yeah, he doesn't try. He's, <laughs> he's underrated. So funny. Um, okay, Todd, go. So nice. And like, so uh, he reminds me of like a excited, like new puppy. <laughs> like he's like a... He's so excited and like, uh, I don't know. He's, he's like a, a Labrador. Yeah. Labrador like retriever. He's so happy and yeah. he feels good to be around. Like he has good energy. Yeah. 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 There was a comment on the roast. It says, oh, Todd is just getting better looking as he gets older. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I was like, God damn, they're right. <laughs> okay. Um, Joe. I love, I think Joe is 
so funny. He's maybe one of the funniest people. What? Yeah. What are you saying? No, he does little jokes <laughs> that like are not even for others. Like for a while when we <laughs> would see each other, he would never hug me. He would shake my hand and it made no sense, but it was so funny. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's he funny. is funny. Yeah. And we spent New Year's with Joe. We did. And I think when people eat, it grosses me out sometimes. Like it makes me like really not hungry. But I started following Joe on Instagram. And when he eats stuff, I'm like, I want to try that. <laughs> and I never feel yeah, that yeah. way about people eating it. It's like, I think it's so nasty. He makes it look, look he good. He makes it look good. Yeah. You know what's really funny is like Joe annoys me so much, but you're Joe's biggest fan and also Charlie. Charlie loves him. Charlie loves I Joe. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. So anytime I bring up Joe, it's hard for me to engage with Charlie because like it's got to be something good to yeah. pull her from her phone. <laughs> and no, then she's it, always like Joe. <laughs> yeah, and then I'll be like, Joe came by today, and she'd be like, Oh, what happened? I'm like, He brought lobster rolls, <laughs> and then she'll she'll be interested in talking yeah. about Joe. Yeah. And what his, do you feel about Joe? <laughs> He's the bane of my existence. No, you don't mean that. No, I love Joe. I love Joe, but it's I have I have the kids. Uh-huh. I have you. And you have Joe. And I have Ferris and Jess and this business. Okay. And then I have Joe. In no particular order. You're first. Well, the kids are first, but then you. Yeah. And obviously. And and that's what I love about you is like you you're like you're so good with the kids. You well, they should be first. It's like but I mean, even 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 to have somebody say that is just like wow. It's insane if anyone doesn't say that. Right. Obviously, <laughs> I agree, and we're very we're very much alike. But getting yeah. back to Joe, yeah, I love Joe. I think he's so funny. It's just tough sometimes. I'm like, you know, we're trying to do stuff, and I'm trying to do everything, and then yeah, it's that fourth layer okay. of something that I have to do. Yeah, that I'll be like, oh. can I ask you a question, please? Um. Jason, if you had to be stranded on a deserted island with one of your friends yeah. and it would be for six years yeah, and you don't have the internet or camera, like it's, you just have to hang out and entertain each other <laughs> for just pure fun, Joe. who would you go? No, I'm just kidding. Jo- <laughs> <laughs> uh, you have to entertain each other? Yeah. Like who I mean, would you not go crazy with? Uh, probably David. He makes me laugh the most. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, and also I my I feel like my relationship is good with him where we can go long periods of time without talking and nobody is... Like it's not awkward. Nobody's offended or it's not awkward at yeah, all. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's great because he's just like... like you, you, what you see is what you get. Like yeah. he's just like when he's ready to talk, he is, and when he's not, he's not. Yeah. Yeah, it's really that's good. Nice. Yeah. What do you think of Zane? Um, I, I love Zane. I think he's... He's uh, so sweet to you. He's so nice he's to He's been me. so nice to yeah. you. Yeah. And he's funny. I think everyone's funny. That's like a commonality between everyone. And, and Natalie. Everyone. She's really sweet. You've gotten to know her, right? Yeah, she's really nice. I love that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if I just talk shit about someone randomly? <laughs> that would be so, like, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> so we met on a dating app mm-hmm. two years ago. Yeah. We had... A, uh, how many dates did we have? Five? No. Four... Oh, Maybe like four. Four. <laughs> Maybe five. We went. Maybe it was four. Four. One, two. We went to the sushi place. We went to the den. Went to addition. Went to addition. We went to the sushi place. Yeah, I've got the order wrong. Maybe it was three. Oh, and then one at my house. Yeah. On New Year's. Yeah. And we spent New Year's 2000. Yeah. I'm really bad at math. 19 mm-hmm. together to 2020 together. Was it two years ago? Yeah, wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a good New Year's. Right. right? And then I, my texting was really bad. Yeah. And then we got to, I had my hip surgery. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I remember. I checked in on you. Yep. Mm-hmm. I did. Did you? Yeah, yeah. And then, and then you left. And then I moved, yeah. Yeah. Well, before I moved too, though, I was traveling a lot. During that time. So, like, I feel like naturally right. we kind of grew apart. Oh, yeah. You were never here. That's what I it was. I was never here. And so, like, when you text me, I'd be, like, on a trip. So, like, that I, it wasn't like we hung out and then I just moved. Yeah. Right? Right, 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 right. Right? <laughs> like, I don't remember. But, yeah. Like, no, you just, you said, you said I'm going, I'm, you went to Tulum for a I, while. In, in my defense. Yeah. Actually, I'm glad I have you here. I invited you. 
I know. When I was in Mexico, and I invited I you when I was in Puerto Rico. And that just seemed like and so. You didn't. You didn't um, take the leap of faith. So. And that goes to show you guys, like you have to. Uh, I didn't go because I just was like, "What am I gonna do? Just like get on a plane and go there?" And then, yeah. And then I, I was like, I just felt awkward. Why? It would have been so fun. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't. I, I just, felt, I just, I just felt awkward going. Oh, oh, also, it was COVID. That was probably why. I just didn't want to leave my kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like a strange time. It was a weird, like everyone was scared to travel. Right, at right, that time. right, right. That that was probably it too. Yeah. Yeah, really wild. And then July mm-hmm. of this year, mm-hmm. this summer. This summer. I'm driving. I'm going to David's house. Yeah. And I'm driving down. Um, the street. I was driving down Ventura. Nice. And I, I remember exactly where I was. I was right in front of the bagel store. Yeah. And I looked down at my text. And it said, "What was I in your phone? Was it just Naveen? Just Naveen, yeah. Naveen J. Mm. Uh, maybe she'll come back one day. Like I think it's the said. one that got away. Yeah, the hearts. <laughs> <laughs> you fucked up. <laughs> um, and then I, and then I, you texted, and I, I started screaming in my car. That's so nice. I started I was screaming. So I went, nervous. I went, I went." I was hitting the roof. I was going, no way, no way, no way, no way, no way, no way. And then I thought, oh, I was like, okay, okay, okay. How do I play this? Do I play yeah. this right? And um, and I just said, hi, how are you? Oh, we went over this, right? We saw what I, I oh, right, right. No, I don't. We recently, we, well, we didn't, we, we talked about it recently. We though. talked well, about it. Well, that was how yeah. I engaged, right? Yeah. I got engaged to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I just said, oh, I couldn't believe you came back. I was just like. I was like sitting there and I was like, do I text him? It's like nerve wracking to be the one to like text someone. Cause if like, I didn't know if you had a girlfriend. Right. If you got nope. married. Nope. No, you were right. You were right there where I left you. <laughs> <laughs> I had a whole life happen and you were just. Yeah. You were all over the group. Globe trotting. No. Uh, and I was sitting here. I was so Trying happy. to get the studio right. Yeah. Yeah. For this moment. For this moment right here. <laughs> no, but I think it all happened perfectly the way it was. I think it to. did too. You got yeah. those like two years where you went and did whatever you wanted. Yeah. And then I I was here. Now I can settle down. <laughs> and now you can settle down. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. And then and then I thought when you texted, I was like, you know, this goes to show you like not to be negative. Like I was like, oh, she probably just wants something. You literally thought I wanted help with like a business or something. Like what? Which would have been fine. That would have been insane. Because people people ask me all the time to help with stuff, and, it, and that would have been fine. So that I just I was just telling you like what, what was in my head. Hey Jason, we've been on a few dates, but uh, I, I want to start a business with you. I don't know. I just figured like that was what you would want because you, you hadn't been very communicative. You had this weird thing. I don't know why you thought I was such a. You thought the same thing about me, though, too. Fair. Fair. Okay. <laughs> but it is true, like, you know, if you guys are, like, um, I don't know. Don't, I just think it's a really good lesson, like, don't assume the worst in people. True. Yeah, I love that. Like, it's that. so important to to assume the best. Yeah. Because you never know. You never know. And now, and now I'm so in love with you. I'm in love with and you. you're just like the the best, but and and I was in love with you before, mm-hmm. but now it's so you're like different. You're real in love with me. It's it's. I don't believe you were in love with me before. I I, 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 I was. You think you so? Don't believe that? No. Oh no, I was, I was totally in love with you. Ferris is crying over there about yeah, our love it story. Just, it's just too beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's falling apart. Um, I was in love with you, but it's different now. Now I now it's like I was I was right, you know, like I knew yeah, I was yeah. right. I was like, wow, and it's yeah. like so much more because now I like actually know you, you know. Yeah, it's really fun. How is it knowing me? Is it nice? I mean, Are you you're, happy? Yeah, you're everything to me. You're like, nice. I mean, like it's changed my whole life. It's given me like, it's just given me like a reason to get up in the morning. <laughs> And just, <laughs> or like, you know, what's really fun is like, yeah. sometimes I forget about you during the day. That's really sweet, baby. You were really on a roll there. No. no, sometimes I'll be sitting next to you on the couch and you'll be like doing something on your phone and then you'll be like, oh, I'm so sorry, baby. I forgot about you. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> yeah, but it's so wonderful when I come back because I'm like, oh my God, you're still yeah. here. Or like when I when I work I all day. I'm just going to leave. <laughs> <laughs> when I work all day and then I come back and I go to pick you up, I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe I get to go pick you up. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah, it's really fun. And I can't believe, I mean, I can't believe you're with me. I can't believe you're with me. Really? No, I can't because I just really, <laughs> I really believed in us. You did? Yeah, yeah. Like I knew we would work. I want to show you a video. I think this is my probably my favorite video of you. I've never published this on Snapchat. It's going to be your first time right here. <sighs> Can I see it? Yeah, I'm going to show. I'm going to show it. I'm going to show it to <laughs> you right I've now. I've never shown it. It's just me naked. <laughs> I'm like, Hold on. <laughs> We're starting her OnlyFans today. <laughs> um, hold on. Here it is. Okay, this is my favorite video of you. You hit play. Oh my. This is uh, us coming back from Boston. We're waiting it. Oh. <laughs> that was embarrassing. <laughs> I can't, sometimes I'm too confident. No, I love that about you. Well, to be fair. <laughs> to be fair. In the video basically yeah. she takes the the, the seat and she, it's the seat says number 1 and she goes, "That's right, I'm number 1, but it's actually my ticket." It was your ticket. Yeah, 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 yeah. But um, my last name will be Nash eventually, and it said Nash. So, looking back in like a year, it will be basically like it was my ticket. Ah, I like how you spun that. Yeah, and I have one more video to show you. Oh yes, that's the night we got engaged. Oh, this one makes me happy. I'm so happy. Yeah, I'm. <laughs> I'm in love with now. you. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, I know, like, I really love you so much. I'm so going to show you how much I love you right now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, turn it Stop off. Stop it. it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't watch that far. So oh. Um, I was so happy. And I'm, a, I'm so happy all the time, but it was like uh, sometimes when you're, like, naturally, like, so positive it scares you when you even like go that next level of like even happier because you're like whoa like it makes you feel a little crazy yeah, 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 like yeah. uh it feels like you're like on drugs or something yeah yeah that's how i feel with you too yeah that's like the best way to describe yeah you. i feel like <laughs> and i don't want it to end either yeah well i don't i feel like you have a fear of like the feeling ending yeah i don't have like i just know we're gonna be okay yeah yeah, I think we both love each other so much. Like, that doesn't go away. And I, and I love all your friends. And my mother loves you so much. I love your mom. The kids love you so much. I love your kids. <laughs> I love everyone. <laughs> you just have, like, the best family and your friends are great. Like, there's, like, no cons to you. Like, you're so wonderful. No, I, I am worried about something. Mm -hmm. Tell me, baby. This is the time. <laughs> It came across my mind today. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like the biggest slob. I mean, your mom talked about that and she like apologized to me. She did. It. Okay, yeah. good. But I think she apologized to you for me being a slob. Yeah, it was really. What did she cute. say? She's like, she's like, you know, like she was just telling me like about like raising you and stuff and like how like her priority really was like making sure you never did like drugs or got into trouble and got good grades and like you got to pick your battle sometimes as like a mom yeah. and her battle wasn't going to be like you cleaning your room if you were doing everything else right. Right. And I was like, for sure. And she's like, so I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. She was like going to cry. She's like, I'm so sorry that he's a slob. And like he has Irma and like, she, and I was like, oh no, 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 it's fine. It doesn't, that's not something that'll bother me. <sighs> I'm going to get better at it. I don't, I don't even care if you don't. I'm going to get better at it. It doesn't. It doesn't really affect me. Okay. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, I guess we'll see. <laughs> you don't know. Mess doesn't bother me. Like, if I think something's messy, I think it's up to the person that is annoyed by the mess to yeah. clean the mess. Because for you, you might see a mess and it doesn't affect you. You don't think about it. But it's up to the person who sits and thinks about it and it bugs them. They got to clean it up. And why are you so interested in my poop schedule? Well, I just think if you're going to be, like, married to someone, right? Yeah. Like, you got to know that 
through sickness and in health, right? Yeah. What if you got so sick and like I had to clean up your poop and like I want to know what it looks like. <laughs> I want to know how often you poop because you don't. I don't know anything about it. You won't ever send me a picture. You no. won't let me in the bathroom to like have like just a, a quick sniff. Nothing. Have you ever seen two girls one cup? Mm-hmm. Okay. You know, once I saw that, I was disturbed. Why? For a long time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's a love story. So I just don't want you to go too far. I don't want you. To, I'm not going to. I don't want you it. to go to a place where I'm you're like, "Wow, I'm sorry, it. I did that." I wouldn't. When I was married, yeah, I never farted in front of my. That's weird. Yeah, like, that's why. Like, well, you, you have to keep like you have to keep now. some. <laughs> so you obviously everything you did, you got to change it. <laughs> Today's podcast. Uh, Dave Portnoy we, we talked about our engagement the other day. Yeah. On BFFs. Our good friend. First, let me say, yeah. Dave, I owe a lot to. He was my first guest on my podcast. My first guest. And I really like Dave. Yeah. But he went in on me. He went in, but he said really nice things about you. That which is which so, made what me a really nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> that made me really happy that yeah, he was nice that's about you. Really nice. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> what exactly did he say about you? Well, a few months ago he said he said that I looked old and gross or something like I look like a grandmother which he was right the video no. was not great I was under a lot of stress then and uh and then now that I've lost weight they were saying that I'm too ripped listen I like Jason I don't think you can be this jacked when you're old he looks now he looks too jacked now I, he can't he just win, can't with, win with you yeah I would much rather be super jacked than super gross and then he would be like he'd be like but I mean I like Jason I like Jason and then Josh was defending yeah. me, which is which nice. is cool. It's just a little strange for like a man to be commenting on like another man. Uh, like I don't know, maybe he's like wants to be with you. Like your looks aren't really targeted to him. They're not targeted to him. But if he feels the need to like comment on it, that's fun. You got you got upset. I don't like when people talk bad about you. You right. don't look old. And what else did he say? Uh, You're too ripped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It okay. looks it looks weird when you're old and ripped. Which, by the way, I had so many cookies. I need to get so back on my regimen. Old and fat. I think so. And what's old? Like, if you talk to someone that was like, well, I'm older than him. If someone was like 57 and they talk to you, they'd be like, oh, you're you're still young. So like, right. old is relative. Right, right. I mean, I, I I get where he's coming from, but I just know I just feel so much better. Like, I just feel you feel good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I liked when he said like, I think he he said something like. Uh, he's he's keep, keeping in shape for her, which he's not wrong. You're in shape for yourself. Don't, I think, don't, uh, like, give yourself, like, a lot of credit for that. Because right. that's cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. What else did he say? And then his producer said, uh, his producer goes, um, Dave, maybe you were the catalyst when you said he was gross, which I thought was really funny. Which, which like, also, yeah, like, maybe kind of so. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. No, I'll tell you what the catalyst was. It was everyone else got ripped. And I just wanted to like. You wanted to show them up. I wanted to prove that I could do it too. Yeah. Yeah. That was and all. you look great. Thank you, baby. And everyone's jealous of you. <laughs> and you're not old and you don't look old. Um, okay. Jess has some games for us. <gasps> Yay. Okay. So I'm going to ask you guys questions and you about each other and you have to write the answer and we're going to see if you, how well you guys know each other. Okay, great. Who's guessing first? Um, What's better? Should I guess? Here. I'll I'll ask each question to each of you, so I'll designate a question. Right, but I'm gonna one person would have to guess each other. Right, right. right. So I'm gonna say, okay, go. Naveen, what was? Ah, oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. What gotcha. was Jason's first job? Okay, got it, got it. Go. We're starting. Yeah, no. yeah. my first job. <laughs> yeah, what was Jason's first job? That's tough. Do you know it? Jason's answer is wrong. <laughs> my, I don't think I've ever told you this okay so i'm gonna guess but, yeah but, but go for it me, i'm gonna can uh, you tell me the age uh yeah i was um i was 16 got it oh i got it but i'm gonna put two answers here because i might have told you something else you didn't tell me okay <laughs> all right go ahead what did you what i'm not gonna have it right naveen what is your answer I put newspaper boy or something else <laughs> <laughs> something else correct <laughs> i got it i worked at a, a in a graveyard oh i knew that but i didn't you were a kid i was like yeah i worked in a graveyard i dug ditch, i dug graves and then i also worked at a mental hospital and i cut the lawn 
And then I also wash dishes. Well, hold on. I'm going to call bullshit. But I've never told you this. I'm going to call bullshit because the graveyard thing was a punishment job. It was? Yeah. Why? What happened? Um, you got in trouble and then that was like the like community service thing that you had to do. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You, yeah, you yeah, were yeah. never given a check from the graveyard place. No, Isn't I was. That I, true? No, no, no. I had to, I, I had to wash cars when I got in trouble, when I had oh, al- alcohol sorry. in my car. Yeah. When I was 16. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. I got my stories wrong. Okay, okay go. Jason, okay. what is Naveen's favorite animal? You don't know this one, buddy. Uh, I, I'm not going to give a clue. I don't want you to win. You're on your own. Kid. I don't know. Do you know uh, my Chinese zodiac? I've talked about it a lot. Yeah, it's a, um, it's either a bull. What? Is it a bull? No, a dragon. <laughs> Weird favorite. A animal. dragon. Not a dragon. Like think like your your year. Yeah, my year. Yeah, your year. Like it's very much me if you think about it. Um, <laughs> shit! I know you told me this. I did. We talked about it. Oh, got it. Dang it, I think you got it. Monkey? Yeah. No? Yeah, it is monkey. Yeah, got it. Good job. Because okay. you, you want to go on safari. It's not why I like monkeys. Yeah, but you'll get to see monkeys there. Yeah, but you can see monkeys there. I know why you want to go on safari. You don't know. You know what she told me? What? She wants to go on safari. <laughs> she wants to go on safari. So she can be, she wants to be in like a, a really, really bad situation with somebody. Yeah, I think that's important. Like... Like, not a good safari. Like, a safari like a where lion, we're, like, in the lion. jungle. Did I ever I tell you about... <laughs> every time I tell a story, someone says it's fake. But did I ever tell you about a girl I knew whose grandma got eaten by a lion on a safari? <laughs> like, actually? Yeah. <laughs> no way. Yeah. That's crazy. In South Africa. No her way. Her grandma got eaten on a safari by a lion. Like, imagine that ride back. <laughs> <laughs> grandma. They have a spare ticket on the airplane. <laughs> no, grandma. That's so scary. Eaten? Yeah, eaten. When was this? Or was this in New Zealand? Um, yeah, it was a girl I knew from Australia, and I was probably, I think she was like probably like, she was probably like eight when it happened, like something. Like, she was like young, like maybe like ten, because I knew her when we were like fourteen. Did the lion come in the tent or jump into the car? Or? I can't remember. I just remember at dinner one time she told my family that story, and then I met her family, and it turned out to be true as well. So, did you think it was a lie? Yeah, that's well, what I was gonna yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, but it was a very true. Is she a story. compulsive liar. <laughs> Maybe her whole family was, but... All right, you're up. Naveen, how does Jason like his coffee? That's actually a good one. Because it is a little complicated. If she gets this right, like really right, exactly, I'm going to I'm gonna give you $10. You're like, I'm, oh, I'll, I'll marry her right now. <laughs> I'll marry you right now. Ready? I bet you, if you get this right, you're the fucking best. I am. Can but I, I mean with first? details. Can I see yours first? <laughs> <laughs> No, my marker's down. It's not how it works. Show me. Okay, well, I like my espresso, Jess, Mm -hmm. with three shots of espresso and a splash of almond milk. I put two to three shots of espresso, splash of almond milk. Yep, yep, you're right. Because sometimes sometimes in the afternoon. Sometimes you say two. Well, in the afternoon, I can only have two. Yeah, but I put two dash three. That's not 23 shots. (laughs) (laughs) Sometimes, some days. You got it right. Yeah. That's great. One point for me, baby. Okay, Jason. <laughs> Winning. <laughs> this is so fun. Jason, what is Naveen's favorite movie? Oh, fuck. It's this movie that like is on Netflix that's like no one's ever heard of. And you talk about it all the time. And it sounds not good, but you say it's so good. Yeah. And it's this movie where like people die and get tortured. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's called like Dead. Dead. No. It's one word. It's called. It's a woman's name. No. Riviera. No, but you're like, it's similar, but it's not. It's a word. It's called like. It's a word. Redemption. No. Salutations. No. Uh, It's called like. You lost. Pie. Okay, what is it? Perfume. (sighs) And it's not on Netflix. It's on YouTube. (laughs) Netflix wouldn't put it on. It's such a bad movie. And what's so great about this movie? Do we have time? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This movie. Okay. The guy loves scents so much that he finds a way to take the scent off of women. So he perfumes the scent of people. So he kills a bunch of women and steals their scent. Uh-huh. And then he uh, I'm not accidentally mixes like this. He mixes all the scents together and he makes a scent that's so good. 
But the entire world at the end of the movie, it's just a scary movie. And then at the very end, the last scene, the scent breaks, like the perfume bottle. So everyone in the world smells the best smell. And then the entire world starts having an orgy. And then the movie's <laughs> over. Like, it, and you don't expect it at and all. And that is my fiance. It, they, right movies there. Movies rarely shock you. So if they shock you, I like it. It ends with an orgy. Out of nowhere. And then it's just done. Like our co-ed bachelor party. I don't think it's even in English. Right. <laughs> it's not even in English? I don't remember it. Okay. All right. What is Jason's love language? His love language? I don't even know what my love language is. Oh. I should tell you. Jess is just curious. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like Naveen would know that. She, she knows it and you don't. I don't even know what a love language is. There's two different kinds it's of. It's like quality time, acts of service, uh, physical touch, Words of affirmation. And gift giving. And gift giving. Well, I know what her love language is. That but wasn't the question, though. It's not your Right, yours down. <laughs> What's mine? I'm writing it down. So also, the thing is... Uh, You're seeing everyone, someone. Everyone, <laughs> I'm seeing someone. I have a boyfriend on the side in the, Puerto Rico. The thing is... Uh, no. Ew. Uh, the thing is, uh, everyone has all of them. It's just they're in an, a specific order. Like, which one is first? Okay. So this is what I wrote. I wrote first. Physical touch. Yeah, words of, aff- oh, I love some words. Yeah, 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 yeah. I put quality time for yours, but I don't, then I thought about it, and I feel like if I told you I didn't want to hang out for a week, you'd be fine, so I want to change my answer. <laughs> um, Maybe, uh, what are some other choices? It's Yours isn't gift giving. You don't, like, do you, you're oh, weird about receiving gifts. No, I don't like to bit. receive gifts. Um, I feel guilty. Acts of service. I feel like you'd feel guilty you about me. acts of service. I still feel guilty about these shoes. I mean, they how were much a, were they? They were a lot. You should feel good. How much? How much were they? Um, they were like twelve hundred. <laughs> Jason's like taking off his feet. <laughs> you spent twelve hundred dollars on these. Yeah, and then these? the second day that he had them, he wore them in the rain in Boston. I was like having a heart attack. <laughs> Guys, these are my new Jordans. I bought these for Ella like three years ago for a video, and I was this is what she wanted, and I and I remember I got them home, and I was like, damn, I want those, and then we saw them at Complex Con. Um, in glass because they don't even make them anymore, right? Yeah. And then, sure enough, the night we got engaged, it was so. Can that, we talk about that? Because sure. it was like so funny. Sure. We were doing like a gift exchange before we traveled for the holidays. Oh wait, wait, wait. I you said, she, yeah, you go. I want to do gifts on this night. Yeah. And your gift was the ring. Yeah. Yeah. But I didn't know that. You didn't know that. And then I was like, Jason, do your gift first. So then I get engaged and then I have to give him his shoes after, which is just so <laughs> Oh, I gave you the ring before the shoes. I gave you the ring first. So then we had this whole thing and then it was like, <laughs> well, I got you this pair of shoes, baby. <laughs> yeah, but. You should have went second. Definitely. You should have went. It's I like, should have went second. Do you know why I, I went first why? with the ring? Because she's like. She's like very. I'm just intuitive. You're very. She's very intuitive. So I'm going. I, I take her to the Sunset Tower bar because that's where we had our uh, reunion date when we we got back together in July, and that's where I was going to propose. And then I had the ring on my jacket, like I was wearing, like a. But you know, I touch you. I know, but it's in a box, so there's nowhere. There's if I put it in no, my. It was in your. This pocket. No, it was in my lapel. It was inside really? the jacket. Yeah. And if I had put it here, it would have stuck out and you would have seen the ring box. And you're just because like. I remember you saying it was your belt. And I was like, huh? So so, so, so <laughs> before we sit down and I'm like, I've got her <laughs> fooled. Like, I know that she's going to like, okay, she doesn't have any idea. And then she goes. And also, you had a fake out present. Yeah, like I had a had fake a out bag, present. Yes. Like a wrapped bag. Yeah. But then she the touched present. the box. She touched the ring. And she was like, oh. I was like, what's that? Yeah, what's that? That's exactly, it's exactly how you did it. I was like, what's, what's that? that? And you go, my belt. What? <laughs> and then I thought for sure it was up. But it was like, I thought it was, I, I truly didn't know, which is so funny because I feel like you got kind of like weird about it. So I was like, oh, like I, maybe I shouldn't push that. Like I thought you were mad at me for asking. So I, I, I like, was, I stopped. Which I usually wouldn't. I would be like, show it to me right now. Pull it. What yeah, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, that was very unlike you not to was, be like, show me what that yeah, is right now. I think now. it was like the universe was like, don't mess this up for yourself. And then what did I do for the engagement? It was so cute. Do you want to share that with everybody or no? 
No, I'm uh, just kidding. I don't care. If you don't want to, don't. You can tell people what you did. I wrote. I wrote like a little script, and it, it was so and it was sweet. it it detailed our our and we got to our like life. Uh, I wrote like a we movie like script. Read it together. Yeah. And I just thought it was um, I just thought it was like a gift that like you like wrote something out like that because I like love stuff like that. Right. And it was so sweet. And then when it was like present day, like Sunset Tower and stuff, it was just so crazy because I thought we came up with going to Tower Bar like on the fly, but like you had a, planned it. Right. And I planned like, it. So, so the last line of the script says, you know, Jason asks Naveen. Yeah. The dialogue is, Jason, will you marry me? Yeah. And then what do you say in the script? No. <laughs> well, she... I wrote a script a few times. We went to the... We went to this... Um, event and they had these like, screenwriters typing out so you could they had a little like interaction thing I- interactive they would, like, thing talk to you for 10 minutes and then they could write any scene for you right and so hers was really funny she wrote out uh like it was really funny it was like jason sees the most beautiful woman across the room uh it's naveen blah blah blah, blah. and then in the in her one page script jason it says jason asked naveen to marry her and then Naveen says no. I say no. In the script. And it was so, it was so funny. And so it was like so cute. So yeah. I thought you were just kind of like playing off of that, but I say yes. But then like you actually got on your knee, right? You did. I did. Um, it and was then tough, like but I, I did. It was like a... Uh, My hip was not feeling good that day. I had done <laughs> Runyon that you day. You have a, a new one. Yeah, yeah. I was just... So no complaints. I was, <laughs> it was awkward in that place to get down on one knee. Because yeah, and there was like one. We were at like a tight table on yeah. the side, and they bought us like shots and stuff, and we weren't really trying to drink. <laughs> yeah, and so then at what funny. moment did you know I was going to propose? When you read the script? No, because uh, when I read the script, I thought you were just like because the thing that we had written the like prior like a few days before, like I thought you were just like rewriting it, and then even when you got on your knee and like you pulled out the ring, I was like. Would you like mess with me to that extent? Like it was just yeah. so no, I wouldn't. Insane. I wouldn't do that. But but I could see my line of work. You might think that yeah. But then but I would also never do that. when I came down to David go- pops out. <laughs> <laughs> He's like just kidding. He's like, ah. <laughs> That's not David. No, David would go the other way. David would be like David would pop out to be like to capture like the romantic moment because he's That's so nice. he's actually really romantic. Yeah. Yeah. Um. But you were like, let's go out to dinner to do the gifts. And then like I came out in like the most casual outfit when I'm always dressed up. Yes. And then you were like, uh, he looked so good. And he goes, uh, it's okay. You can wear that. It's fine. I was like, no, I'll change. You look really good. And like, it was like, you told me, you go, it's fine. Just wear that. When yeah. I was wearing like something kind of just super casual. Yeah. Because I just figured... I wasn't going to take You wanted any, to shine in your, I, yeah, in I needed your outfit. It. I knew finally for yeah. once I wanted to show you up. Yeah. yeah but yeah. I, I, and I had TMZ there. And I changed. Yeah, you did. You yeah. look great. Thank you. Right, let's get back to the game. Yeah. Okay. Okay, who's winning? <laughs> Naveen's winning. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Jason? Yeah. What is Naveen's dream job? <laughs> Come on, baby. You know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> You got it. Let's go. Weather girl. <laughs> oh, I would die. We always joke about that, like that she would be. You, you, what, what? What was your? Did you try to be a weather girl once? I asked someone, and they told me I was too. They said I had to have like a couple of things fixed on me before I could become a weather girl. And <laughs> so awful. I had to, like after that, like I was like. Oh, well, I, I can do that. Like, that's, that's easy. That's a couple surgeries. No problem. And then he goes, and you do have to go to school. <laughs> it's like, I'm out. But, yeah, one day, maybe. No, you're not having any surgeries. You're perfect. Absolutely perfect. We'll see. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and I'll never be a weather girl. Naveen, yeah. who said, I love you first? I think, I think I said it on our first date. Yeah, I think you said it, like, uh, <laughs> right right when we met. Uh, I was like, hey, I'm Naveen. It's, like, nice to meet you in person. He's like, I love you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Naveen, what would Jason say is your best feature? <laughs> it, it's my... <laughs> wait, what is it? You're going to yeah. have to guess. <laughs> you have to guess. Uh, can I write that? I mean, yeah, I guess. I, I hate being sure I, that I, mean, I hate being honest. 
<laughs> but I mean, uh, it, it, it can. It doesn't have to be a physical feature. It can be about your personality too. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> before I before I make Jason wait, 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 look like wait, an wait. ass. Is it? Is it? Well, which is it, Jess? Physical or just any oh, feature? Um, so amongst physical. Right, let's let's go with what's Jason's favorite thing about you. <laughs> I keep the same thing. <laughs> Show what you have. One, two, three. One, two. Oh. What's you, that wrote, you wrote private parts. Well, because I wasn't sure. My favorite thing about Naveen is her vagina. <laughs> what if I wrote that? I thought you were going to say that. Sorry, I should have clarified. Um, okay, let's favorite? do let's do non-physical. Yeah. Okay, let's do your it. favorite. What's Jason's favorite part of your personality? Oh, okay. You're, you'll never get this because it's too complimentary. But why don't you go first? Can you go first? Sure. Because you can't erase, though. Yeah, I know. Badass bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what if I said that? That would be so cool. <laughs> <laughs> it, would, it would be so cool. Can we just edit it so it does? Sure. It said my kindness. But <laughs> <laughs> well, this isn't to... really right. I was going to write positive. Okay, so I got it right. Yeah, you got it right. <laughs> I mean, so there's so, so many things I love about you. Thank you. You're a great dresser. You're so funny. You make me so happy. Keep going. You, you're you so positive all the time. Like, every time I look, like want to be negative, like, you won't allow it. I told the kids that. I was like, you know how I get, like, really upset and stuff? And I get, like, <laughs> this is coming yeah, we out all right. talked about that in Boston, actually. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> and then I said, I said, like, she's so great because she, she keeps me positive. She, she, won't, she won't let me be negative. Well, Naveen wins. This game. Yay. Naveen won. Yeah. Big shocker. Um, I won, you lose, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> now the next the next game is a, a who is game. So you're both, I'm going to ask a question, like who is the, and you're going to either write yourself or the other person. Got it. Okay, let's do it. We're writing it? Yeah. So if you think the answer is you, you put, you write me. If you think the answer is Jason, then you write Jason. Okay. And you'll That's reveal easy. them at the same time. Okay. All right. Who is more emotional? <laughs> I'm just writing me or her or, yeah. or Jason or Naveen. You can write me or okay. Naveen. You. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, Go. one. You? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm emotional too, though. No, you're, no. Mm -hmm. I like literally will break down and cry just looking at you. <laughs> you do? It, it makes me scared because I'm like, is he unstable? Is no, I'm like <laughs> I know I'm crying. I'm like oh, like is it because you hate me secretly? But then like no. then you say something so lovely and I'm like, Oh, everything's fine. No, no, I get I get so emotional. I associate about you. crying with something's wrong. <laughs> Most people do. Yeah. <laughs> you cry when you're really happy. It's actually so sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Who is the better listener? All right, ready? Maybe. Maybe. Did you spell my name wrong? It's spelled with a K, right? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Uh, it, I, it, 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 there's just like a weird letter there. You're showing off your drawing skills. You're, you're, she's a way better listener. She, uh, Charlie said, Charlie said like, "Why me one time something she wanted from Sephora and Naveen remembered and got it and, and Anyone like blew her mind. Anyone though, if someone mentions anything that they like really want, I always write it in my notes. That's so nice. Yeah, that's a really good trait. Even people really like trait. I barely know just in case we get super close. <laughs> It's kind of crazy. Really? <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Who is funnier? <sighs> this is tough. Really? Yeah, yeah, this is tough. I think you'll say this. Just just to just be just just for my ego, you'll say that. I did I think <laughs> <laughs> So you think you're funnier than me? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're so funny. No, you're you, really funny. I, I feel like I laugh more with you. You make me laugh more than I make you laugh. No, you always make me laugh. We have a good time. Well, we both said you, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's the better dancer? That's so <laughs> rude. Are you kidding me? I mean, I think you're good, but I haven't seen you, like, really open up. Like, we haven't gone to a wedding yet or something like that where you can really. We've never gone to a club. So, I mean, like, maybe you're great, but I just, I saw you dance a little bit and I was like, oh, she's actually really good. But I haven't seen you, like, really, like, let it go. Even, like, when we went to, like, the, um, like, the Babylon party, like, you weren't dancing. 
Or Dobrix, you were dancing. The Dobrix party. Dobrix, I was dancing. At Halloween, I was dancing. Uh, I think you just have a bad memory. Take that. (laughs) (laughs) I'm like, the next question is, who has the better memory? (laughs) (laughs) Um, Okay, who's more active? Okay. You don't, have to, you don't have to underline it. I was out with Todd this morning. <laughs> you don't have to underline I it. I walked to the mall at the same I time. I did run in the hard way. There's a hill up La Siena. I did the same mountain. <laughs> oh, that is quite the yeah. hill, actually. All right, go. That was it. That was yeah, it? Yeah. I won. <laughs> Anything you want to say? Um, I know what I want to say. Well, I was actually about to talk. Okay, no, well, I'm just kidding. Go, go ahead. No, you go. No, you go ahead. You say something. I, I want you to go first. No, because mine's going to be too serious. No, mine was actually serious. Okay, go. Um, I just wanted to say, what are you looking at? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it'd be funny to stare at your boobs while you, while you're. A boob. I just wanted to say, I think you're the best person. Yeah. And I love you so much. Mm-hmm. And I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have. <laughs> That'd be so cool. That'd but be, I would never just do drop that. Drop the mic. Yeah. 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 Like I'm done. That would no. be great. Uh, I think we're gonna have the best life together, and I can't wait for our wedding, and uh, I can't wait to have a baby with you. Yeah. Many babies with you. <laughs> Endless amounts of babies with you. Not too many. Like seven, eight babies. No, no, with no, no, you. no, no, no. Um, and yeah, I'm just really happy and. Even though some people say like really mean stuff <laughs> on the internet. Yeah. It like just doesn't matter. Right. Cause like we just have such a good time together and that's what matters. I have a new take on the internet. Ferris and I were talking this morning and you know, it, you really just, you just can't, you just can't read it. Yeah. It, it's got, it's gotten so it's gotten to that place. You know, a, anybody that is, has a, you know, my ex-wife has seven followers on Facebook and she's That's irate every night. <laughs> you know, she has like, yeah. she has like, you know, we have 98 followers on Facebook and she'll be like, so-and-so wrote this thing. I can't believe she, he likes Trump. You know, like. Well, to be fair, it's worse if you see something and it's like 90 followers. <laughs> yeah, if it it's is. it's like a bunch, it's like. <laughs> It doesn't yeah, it matter is. if it's like 90 people and one person says something. I'd be yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's way shit. worse. It's way worse. Um. Well, yeah, I, I, I agree. I think I, I just want to say I was just nowhere without you. And you've made me so, so, so happy. Yeah. And I love you so much. I can't believe you're in my life. And I'll never, ever take you for granted because you were gone for those two years. You make it sound like I left you. You were. You I, did. I didn't. No, you didn't leave me. I didn't leave but you. I, but I, I'll never take you for granted. And I just, I'm so, so happy. And, um... You just been, you just made me my other half, and I never Aww. felt this way about anybody before. Anybody, I love you. I love you so much. We start doing it, <laughs> <laughs> uh, guys. That's the podcast. Um, go check out Naveen's podcast. Shirts off. Go check out. Get where's your card game? You threw it to the side. Should have. This is Naveen's card game. It's called The Therapist and the Mistress. It's right here. It, well, hold on. It's not The Therapist and the, It's just Therapist and the Mistress, baby. It's just th- it's, it's, it's just, just. Ther- Therapist and the Mistress. It's available where? At uh, tmcardgame.com. tmcardgame.com. And it's a game you play with couples, right? You play with someone yeah, with, as a couple. With, yeah. Yeah, you it's don't a ga- play it's with a game. other couples unless it's that's a game, your kind of thing. It's a game where you... We'll put the link in so people can, can buy it. If I was offered a job that required me to travel for weeks at a time, how would you handle it? I'd pack my bag. <laughs> hey, let's, where are we going, baby? <laughs> I would want you to come, too. Like, where, where, where's the next stop? I love that about you. What would you do if it was me? If you had to go away? Yeah. I'd come. You would? Mm-hmm. That's nice. And I'd bring Ferris and Jess with me. And That's sweet. I'd find, someone to po- <laughs> I'd, find, I'd find someone to interview for the podcast there. Let's be real here. We've all tasted our boogers. <laughs> When is the last time you indulged in one of your tasty treats this morning? You tasted a booger this morning? I might have. <laughs> what did it taste like? <laughs> well, look- eating boogers is the worst because at Why? first it's it's fun and then you and then it's, it's never fun. 
It's fun, and you don't want to swallow them. I don't swallow them. You don't swallow. You spit them. Yeah, I spit them back out. That's weirder. <laughs> At least commit to it. I have an oral fixation, so it, unfortunately, like I always just put stuff in my mouth. How about you? When's the last time you ate a booger, sweetie? Um, I think I ate a booger when I was sick that one time in Boston. Because I read this <laughs> thing that if it tastes really salty, you might be sicker than you are. <laughs> So I, I did it just to kind of research where I was on, with my sickness. I can't wait to stop this podcast and just hang out with you. I'm so excited. <laughs> Tell me about a time when you were rejected. It can be relationship or work related. We've talked about this before. Remember when we talked about rejection? We were at a sushi restaurant and you told me about that girl that rejected you. Yeah. And I told you about nothing because no one's <laughs> ever rejected me. <laughs> you want to keep believing that, sweetheart. That's great. Do you overshare or bottle up your emotions? Overshare. What about me? Do I bottle them or overshare? I think you don't overshare. And I think with certain people, you might bottle it up. But you, you usually tell me things. Yeah. All right, guys, this is Therapist and the Mistress. Go to tmcardgame.com. Check it out. Link is in the description. Go buy a card game for your lovers. Yeah, and you don't get a discount code. So. Really? Yeah, no, we need people to pay full price. Oh, it's weird because <laughs> I have three upstairs that I bought. <laughs> All right, I love you guys. Thank you so much. My thanks to Naveen. Uh, go check out Naveen on social media and go check out her podcast, Shirts Off. And um, anything else you want to say? Um, just that I love you. I love you too, sweetie. You're the best. You're the best. Did you have fun? Yeah, I thought it was great. Good. That was really fun. We probably should have did it alone, so these guys didn't have to sit here and listen to us like. I feel like it would be like over each alone, other. Then it would have been too like. Would have been porn. Yeah. Yeah. And I would have made you sit next to me. <laughs> okay, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. bye.